On average, dietary cholesterol does not change your serum cholesterol levels very much because most of our cholesterol is produced inside of our liver. In that video, we spoke a little bit about the genetic differences in response to increasing dietary cholesterol. To my delight, there was an extremely fascinating new study published about cholesterol metabolism. It's been understood for quite a long time that if we increase dietary cholesterol, our liver reduces its production of cholesterol and our cholesterol doesn't change drastically. But we didn't necessarily understand all of the mechanisms that drove this. This study found there's a protein produced by our intestinal cells called cholecin. In response to the ingestion and absorption of dietary cholesterol, cholecin is released where it binds to a receptor on the liver and reduces the liver's production of cholesterol. Meaning when we eat more cholesterol, we produce more cholecin and the liver produces less. And our blood cholesterol levels stay fairly normal. However, as you can see, there are drastic differences in the amount of cholecin that individuals produce. And the less cholecin someone produces, the higher their total and LDL cholesterol. Meaning this is yet another genetic factor that alters your response to an increase in dietary cholesterol consumption.